So our question today is, do the segments A, B, and B, C, D bisect each other? Well, when you think about the word bisect, it is literally made up of two pieces, bi, which means two, and sect, which literally means cut. So bisect literally means to cut into two equal pieces. So the first thing that I'm going to do is actually plot these segments and draw them on the coordinate plane. It says A is at negative 4, 4, and B is at 4, negative 2. So that has a line saying an AB, um, and I did that in red. And so in purple, C, D, C is at negative 3, negative 3, and D is at 3, 5. Okay, and so when I look at these pictures, they look like they kind of cut each other um, equally, but I want to actually double check my work. So to be able to bisect, cut into two equal pieces, that would mean that this left side of AB would be congruent to the right side of AB, where the middle point is where CD went through it, and vice versa, CD would need to be cut at that same point so that its left half is congruent to its right half. So I said this middle point, um, but a middle point actually has a name in geometry, and that is the mid point, the point that is in the middle. Literally. So let's call this point M. And I do it did a quick drawing, but we actually want to find where that point is mathematically. Because it may not be just to the right of the y-axis like I drew because I drew it by hand. It may be on, it may be to the left, it may be a little up or down from there. I actually want to go mathematically find this midpoint. So midpoint, because it's literally the middle point, um, middle of two numbers or two points is an average. So the formula for the midpoint is the average of the x's, and since there's only two values, it's add those two numbers, divide by two, and then the average of the y values, the two y values added together and divided by two. So let's work for a, b first. We want to find the midpoint of AB. So A has the point of negative 4, 4, and 4, negative 2. So I've labeled it x1, y1, so I'm just going to plug it in. x1 of negative 4 from A plus x2 of 4 from B, all divided by 2. Then y1, which comes from A, is 4 plus y2 from b, which was negative 2, divided by 2. PEMDAS tells me to do the addition on top first. So for the x's, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. And then 0 divided by 2 is 0. For the y's, 4 plus a negative 2 is 2. And then 2 divided by 2 is 1. So the midpoint of AB is at 0, 1. So now the goal is actually to find the midpoint of CD. And if they're the same, that would mean that they have bisected each other. Not just that one's bisected the other, but that they've bisected each other back and forth. So let's look at CD. So using the same formula, the average of the x's, the average of the y's. So C, I'll label that as x1, y1, and D is x2, y2. So the formula says x1 first, which from C is negative 3, plus x2 from D, which is 3, all over 2. And then our y's from C, y1 is negative 3 plus our y2 from d, which is 5 over 2. PEMDAS 
on the top first, negative 3 plus 3 is 0, and 0 divided by 2 is 0. We're looking good here. Remember, our goal is to see if these are the same. So negative 3 plus 5 is 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So the midpoint of CD is 0, 1, and the midpoint of AB was 0, 1, which, if I go back to my graph, is really actually just to the left of where I had drawn that first point. And so they bisect each other because CD cuts AB in half, so the left side and the right side are the same. And then AB bisects CD, so its left side is equal to its right side. So because their midpoints are the same, we can say AB and CD bisect each other. Okay. Now the other thing you might be asked is, are these segments congruent? And congruent's a little bit different than bisect. Congruent means to have equal measurements. And so for measurements or measures, you want to use the distance formula. Because distance will find a length, length being measurements. So the distance formula it derived from the Pythagorean theorem, so you could plot these points and use the Pythagorean theorem, but it's d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, so I'm going to plot these points just like I did earlier. I'm going to use the same letters, or same colors, so at least for AB. I have negative 4, 4, and I had 4, negative 2. Okay, not the prettiest line. I'm going to switch up um, CD and use green here. So C was at negative 3, 3, and D was at 3, 5. So same segments, but this time I actually want to find their lengths. Okay, so the length or distance of AB. Again, I'm going to go ahead and label X1, Y1, X2, Y2. And then I'm going to fill out the formula. So it has a distance formula. It has two sets of squares with a sum in between. And then each set has a minus. I like to call this the bones of the formula without any numbers. So now I'm ready for my numbers. So x2 was 4. x1 was negative 4. Again, there is the minus from the, pro from the formula and then the negative from the point. y2 is negative 2, and y1 is a positive 4. So I filled it out. Now I'm going to simplify. So I'm going to do the parentheses. 2 negatives is a positive, and then 4 plus 4 is a positive 8. The other set of parentheses, negative 2 and negative 2, four, sorry, negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. Still has that parentheses with the squared and the square root. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the individual squares. 8 squared is 64. And then negative 6 squared, negative 6 times a negative 6. 2 negatives is a positive, so I get positive 36. Now I'm ready to add them. 64 plus 36 is 100. And the square root of 100 is 10. So the distance between the endpoints A and B is the same thing as the length of AB is 10. So now that I know AB has a measurement or length of 10, I want to do the same process with CD to see its distance or length. Okay. So, kind of give my space here. Um, I'm going to rewrite those points so that I can move my screen down. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and label x1, y1, x2, y2. And then the distance formula, I like to rewrite it every single time. 
x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. I like to write it down so that I can actually just carry down what I, again what I call the bones, so the minuses, and then I can plug in the numbers kind of just like I did before right on top of each other. So the first one is x2, which is 3, x1, which is negative 3, y2, which is 5, and y1, which is 3. So now I'm going to simplify. Negative negative is positive. 3 plus 3 is 9. I still have the squared. On the other side, 3 minus uh, sorry, 5 minus 3 is 2, still have the squared, the sum, and the square root. 9 squared is 18, 3 squared is 9, still have the square root and the sum. 18 plus 9, I did something wrong. Oop, yep, yeah, nope, I caught something, guys. I'm going to go back here, hoping y'all caught it before I did. 3 plus 3 is 6, <laughs> and I want to do 6 squared there. Um, and then the other mistake I made was actually I copied down C wrong. C was actually supposed to be at negative 3, negative 3. So bear with me. I'm actually going to erase my work because I think I confused y'all more than anything. So, okay, so I now have the correct points. C is at negative 3, negative 3, and then D is at 3, 5. So we're good. So I'm going to redo my distance formula. Again, I'm going to do everything, all the math-y stuff without any numbers. This is what I call the bones, and now I'm going to plug in those numbers. So let's be extra careful here. X2 is a positive 3. X1 is a negative 3 y2 is a positive 5, and y1 is a negative 3. Okay, two, positive, two negatives is a positive, 3 plus 3 is 6, and I still have that squared, and plus two negatives is a positive again, 5 plus 3 is 8, still with that squared. 6 squared is 36, plus 8 squared is 64, the sum, 64 and 36, is 100, and the square root of 100 is 10. So the distance between the point C and the point D, which is the same thing as the length of the segment CD, is 10. And so what we figured out once I did the distance formula correctly that second time, that AD has a length of 10 and CD has a length of 10. So their measurements are equal, which means that these segments are congruent. So the answer are segments AB and oops, CD um, congruent. And the answer would be yes. Hope this helped, even with the little confusing pieces. But all it shows you is if you don't take your time, which I kind of rushed through, and I labeled my numbers wrong, you make easy mistakes. So be really careful when you're doing your work. Have a great day.